I believe this is working. Okay. So let me go back to this really quick so we can get started. I have one more video for you guys today. Um, this is our video on the second part of your week five assignments. So we already, at this point, if you're watching this video, you should have already um, completed everything in the technology discussion part right here. Uh, if you haven't, please do that first before you begin this section. So this section is on thesis statements. So if we drop this menu down, you'll see that there's a few things here. Um, this right here is what we're going to go over today. This is just our PDF on um, how to write a thesis statement, what they are, and some examples. And uh, this right here is practice. We're going to be practicing writing thesis statements. This is one assignment that will be graded, so make sure that you get this um, done. I'll walk you through how to get through the first one, so hopefully you can use that as you um, do the whole thing. And then the last thing on here, this is also going to be graded is you're going to write a thesis statement about the story that we read together up in this section. So that's why it's so important that you finish this before we move on to this here. So this will go by a lot faster. So I'm gonna jump right into it. Let me go and click on this for you. So <clears throat> if you've read thesis statements before, that's awesome. I am so proud of you for paying attention in English class. Um, if you haven't, that's okay too. I'm here to teach you about them and I just want to say that if you take nothing else from my class, please take this. Please sink this into your brain because I think this is so important. Um, thesis statements are what's going to make your essay or anything that you write clear, concise, and just all around better. So if you can do this, you can do anything. So a thesis statement. A thesis statement is a sentence that tells readers the main points your paper covers and in what order they appear. So basically, it's your entire paper squeezed into one sentence at the end of the introduction paragraph. And we'll go over the introduction paragraph next. Um, but for now, just think about this one statement. So this is like the roadmap um, to your whole essay. So it's very important. All right. So it includes your distinct standpoint on the subject. What are your opinions? Okay. A brief summary of the main arguments and a roadmap for the paper. So when you have a thesis, you need to make sure that you are answering the whole question, okay? That you have stated what your opinion is and why you have that opinion, okay? Strong thesis statement is disputable. When something is disputable, it means that you can argue about it. So you don't wanna have a thesis statement that's just, you know, easily, um, like everyone agrees with it, right? You kinda wanna be a little controversial, you know? So it's not obvious. Someone can disagree with it. It's focused, not too broad. Your position or your opinion is clear. You don't say sometimes yeah, sometimes no, none of that. <clears throat> and it is relevant. It's not boring. Readers won't say, okay, and, or so what, okay? They should care about your thesis. So when writing a thesis statement, consider the following words, what, how, and why. What idea are you arguing? How do you plan to argue them? And why should your reader care? Okay, what, how, why? Every time you write a thesis statement, ask yourself this question. What is my opinion? How am I going to solve this? And why should everyone care? Okay. So I know that you guys haven't really written thesis statements before, and that's okay. So I wanted to provide you kind of with a little formula. Um, so you can practice with this formula later. But um, in the future, I'm, they're going to probably encourage you to move away from this. So you can write thesis statements in lots of different ways, but if you're struggling, this is one way to do it. So um, when we go over the practice together, I'll show you what I mean when I mean reason one, two, and three. Okay. So for instance, if I'm arguing like that pancakes are better than waffles, if I say um, by examining the texture, the taste, and the general uh, enjoyment I receive from eating pancakes, it's clear that they are better than waffles. Do you see that I kind of filled in these blanks with my reasons and then my opinion on what pancakes over waffles? It's really simple, really easy. You could say by examining beats, lyrics, and professionalism, it is clear that uh, Drake is the best rapper of the 2010s. You know what I mean? You can kind of fill this in with whatever you want, all right? So, like I said, you don't always have to follow this formula, but if you're unsure how to start, it's a good place to jump off from. 
Okay, here's some really common mistakes that happen with thesis statements. You could say like an undecided thesis. So sometimes students enjoy their studies, but sometimes they don't. So <laughs> that's really silly, right? Um, that doesn't really say anything. This one right here has an opinion. It says student attitudes, time management, and discipline contribute to how much a student will study at home. So it has three reasons here. Student attitudes, time management, and discipline, and then their opinion. Okay, that's a better one. This one's a Captain Obvious. Internet can be addictive. Yeah, okay, tell us more. This is really blank. No, of course it can be addictive. Why? You're going to explain more about it. So the strong thesis instead says, recent research shows that the accessibility of the internet, society's dependence on social media, and digital communication can trigger internet addiction. All right, so accessibility, society's dependence, and digital communication all trigger internet addiction. So we have three reasons and an opinion, okay? The vow maker. I'm going to write about the movie Titanic. That's not a thesis statement. That's just a statement, point blank period. You need to give me why you're writing about the Titanic, okay? The 1997 movie Titanic was a huge success owing to the talents of leading actors, the film director, and the original genre of epic romantic, epic romantic disaster movies. So we know that when this person is writing their essays, the first paragraph is going to be about the actors. The second one's probably going to be about the film directors. And then the last one's going to be about the, the genre of romantic disaster movies. So that's how a thesis works as a guidepost, okay? It tells you what those three things are in the order that you're going to talk about them because it's trying to give you like a step-by-step, -step, a summary, like a quick snapshot of how the essay is going to go. It helps your essay stay organized and clear to the reader so they know what to expect. Okay, the random list. This is not good because it's not specific enough. It doesn't really state out what your reasons are, just kind of vaguely mentions them. So the weak thesis says, this paper will discuss Titanic, James Cameron, and Leonardo DiCaprio. You're like, okay, what do those things have to do with it? Because you have to assume that your reader knows nothing at all about what you're trying to talk about, even if they do, because that's what makes a clear essay. So a lot of the times I'll give you guys a question and be like, you know, if you could go anywhere in the world, where would it be? And you just write Paris. That's not going to really give me much information. If nobody knew what the question was, they'd just see the word Paris, and that would mean nothing to them. You know what I mean? So our strong thesis here says the 1997 movie Titanic was a huge success owing to the talents of the leading actors, film directors, and the original genre of epic romantic disaster movies. It's the same as the last one, right? But it's a different kind of thesis that it's giving you the example of because this one just says James Cameron, Leonardo DiCaprio. But with this one right here, we know that the leading actors, we can talk about Leonardo DiCaprio here and the film director, we can talk about James Cameron right here. So we're going to delve into these things. We just kind of need a better overview about why you're writing about Titanic. What makes Titanic special, you know? All right, same with ambiguity overload. So sleep to Sleep deprivation can have some negative effects on people. Yeah, no duh, okay? That's really big. What are the negative effects you need to tell us? So the study reveals that sleep deprivation can lead to difficulties concentrating, accomplishing everyday tasks, and general weight problems in adolescents age 10 to 14. That's a lot more um, specific, right? We know that in the first paragraph, they're going to talk about... <clears throat> Um, difficulties concentrating, accomplishing every task in the second paragraph, and then weight problems in the third paragraph, okay? <clears throat> That's it. So I posted this um, PowerPoint for you guys, so you can use this checklist when you're writing your thesis as we go on to the next activity. So can someone disagree with it? Is your stance clear? When I say stance, I mean opinion or position. Those are all the same words. Um, does it pass the so what test? Is it relevant? Does it tell you everything your paper will cover? And does it answer the what, how, and why question that we talked about, okay? These are the things that are gonna make your thesis just amazing, perfect. So um, if you wanna figure out how you would write a thesis about, you know, if pancakes are better than waffles, be my guest, you're welcome to do that. We kind of did that in the example earlier. But what we're gonna do right now is we are going to try and work on this um, worksheet that's gonna be in the thesis statement folder. So I know that I went through that pretty quick, this will make more sense the more we practice it, okay? So I want you to open this right here, thesis writing practice, okay? So you're going to open this with Cami, which I love Cami. It's 
been great. I like it. Um, and when you do that, it's going to look like this. Let me move myself. Okay. Please, please read the directions. I don't know how often I have to stress that. People just don't read directions, okay? Everything that you need to know is right in this directions right here. So it says, this statement is one sentence that establishes the focus of your essay. In an essay for English class, your thesis should always appear at the end of your introduction, and it should be restated, worded in a new way, in your conclusion. Remember, when you write a thesis, you need to address the question. So assume your reader has no idea what the topic is, and state your three supports or main points. Okay, so we talked about having the opinion and the three reasons, or supports, that's what they're called sometimes, like three support pillars to hold up your idea. Okay. So an example topic question you might get in the future, maybe on an SOL or like, I don't know, even on, a, on an essay. Okay, so uh, you have won the lottery and you can choose to travel anywhere in the world. Write about one place you'd like to visit and explain why you'd like to travel there. So this person came up with three reasons why they wanted to go to France. Okay, their first reason, I would travel to France because I love French food. That's a really good reason. I would go to France for the food. Reason number two. Paris is one of the most beautiful cities in the world, and I would like to see it. Yeah, you can talk about a lot there. You could talk about going to Notre Dame or the Eiffel Tower or, like, even just seeing the countryside. That could be beautiful, okay? And three, I would like to practice my French and become more fluent. These are all really, really solid, good reasons. So they took all three of those and their opinion about where they wanted to go, and they made this thesis statement right here. If I won the lottery and could travel anywhere in the world, do you see how they kind of restated the question so that the reader would know what they're talking about? I would travel to France because I love French food. I want to see Paris and I would like to become more fluent in French. So they took these supports, they simplified their um, feelings about it a little bit, and then they used it to kind of make one sentence. Okay, it's a more complex sentence. We're going to do some practice with... Um, making complex sentences later as we move. So it's okay if your punctuation is not totally on point here. Um, we're going to really nail that later. But for now, I want you to practice just getting the ideas out on paper. Okay, so let's do this first one together. All right, we'll see that our supports are listed here. Our first thing is the topic, though. So it says topic one, education is important to have. Um, obviously, we know that the question was probably like, why do you why do you think education is important or not important? Tell me why, okay? So this person thinks education is important, right? So their first support said it could enable one to get a better paying job. Okay, so we could probably summarize that and to just say better paying job. Two, it makes a person a more interesting individual, okay? And then three, it makes a person a more informed citizen. Okay, so those are really solid uh, reasons. What our challenge is now is to take all three of those reasons and kind of make them into one sentence. So we might have to change like the the tenses to make sure that they match up into um, you know the right tense so they're all in the same uh, sentence together so they work so they fit and they flow. So let's take our text box here and let's click. So um, education is important to have because. Um, makes it easier to get a higher paying job. Reason one. You see how I kind of made it into my own like words there? Okay. And I put a comma because I'm moving on to the next one. Remember, thesis statements are one sentence. So that's your goal to get it into one sentence. You're going to need to use commas. Okay. So, um, it makes it easier to get a higher paying job. Oh my God, these things are going to be crazy. So it makes it easier to get a higher paying job. It makes people more interesting. Comma. And this is our last one, so we say and. Um, it makes people more generally informed. We kind of played with it a little bit there, but you see, it's really easy. You just read the supports that you have and try and work them all into one sentence. So the thesis that we came up here uh, with is education is important to have because it makes it easier to get a higher paying job. It makes people more interesting and it makes people more generally informed citizens.
There you go. So now we know that when we write this essay, our first paragraph is going, is going to be about getting a better paying job. It's the first thing we listed. Our second paragraph is going to be about um, being more interesting. And then our third paragraph is going to be about generally informed citizens. Okay. So pretty straightforward. I want you guys to try this. And when you've finished this worksheet, go ahead and submit it. Turn it in up here. You can press turn in and then oops, turn in. And that'll be good. Um, you can also turn it in on Schoology with the submit assignment here if you want to, just to get it off your to-do list. Um, but when you are done with this, I will ask you to write one more sentence or one more thesis. You should be really good at writing theses by the time you finish this, okay? Or at least a little bit more comfortable with it. So click back into this thesis statement folder. And I want you to click on Padlet 2. So open Padlet 2. Remember that I don't want you to do this Padlet unless you've done the first one from the other folder. So you want to wait. Make sure you've listened to that whole story. You've done that Ed Puzzle and you've done that Padlet before you get to this one. So when you click on this one and just click here to do the assignment, this is what's going to pop up for you, okay? Um, I have an example here for you already and we'll go over that together, but I want you to read the question really quick. First thing as you always should, always read the directions first, okay? So, do you think technology could ever parent a child better than a human could, okay? So please write a thesis statement answering this question. Write out your opinion and then list out your supports. When you are done with that, try to combine them into one sentence. Try seeing if you can summarize each support into a word or two. Follow the example I have made for you. Write your name in the title space up at the top, please. So like I said, when uh, with the other Padlet, to do this Padlet, what you need to do is press this little button and a new thing will pop up for you. You're going to write your name here. So let me turn her. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to think about your opinion on the matter. So I already wrote one of these and we're going to just use mine as an example. Okay. So hold on. So I said, yes, I think technology could possibly be a better parent than a human could be in the future. That's not my thesis statement. It's just an opinion, right? Um, it's not my real opinion, but you know, I was, I figured most of you guys would say no. So I wrote yes, just to kind of switch it up. So I wrote my opinion here. The next thing I needed to do is think of my three reasons why I believed that. So I thought about it really hard and I just made a little numbered list right here. So I, on my little um, document here, to me, I'd say no, or whatever, no, uh, parents could never be replaced. Okay, then I hit enter twice, so I had some room, and now I'm trying to think of my support. I'm going to number them. So when I said yes, I said my support was um, technology can better monitor a child's health, which is true. If you, you could probably read like your blood pressure and like your sugar intake by just looking at you. Parents, human parents, and anyway, we can't do that. So that's one reason that I think tech could be a better parent. Um, all right. My second reason was tech could possibly keep children safer through security measures against potential threats. So if you had like a robot mom, I imagine that she might have a really good like security system connected to the house and she could tell when someone's trying to break in. She probably has like, you know, stun guns or tasers attached to her arm to help like stop intruders. I feel like that would keep a kid pretty safe, you know? Um, just my thought on that. Um, and then my third reason was tech would be able to access every book and article written about parenting at one time through the internet, thus knowing more about parenting in general, because it would take a human forever to read every book on parenting, right? But a robot just knows it. So it knows all the theories, it knows all the studies, at the drop of a hat. So that's one advantage that it might have, okay? So what I did here after I listed all my reasons, I'm gonna show you it like up here, you know, I might have blah, 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 reason one. And I wrote it in like a couple sentences. I was just trying to get my ideas out, which is what I want you guys to do. But when I was done getting my ideas out, I looked at them and then I pressed enter again and I numbered them off one more time. This is just how I would write a thesis statement because it really simplifies the process for me. So I know that I'm answering the whole question. But I looked at my reasons and I thought, okay, what is the most important word in each of these reasons? Okay, so the first one, tech can help better monitor a child's health. I looked, okay, monitor health, that's the best one. So I simplified. So in this one, I might just be like, you know, one word. Um, 
The second reason I had was tech could possibly keep children safer through security measures against potential threats. So what's the most important thing here? Safety. So I wrote safety. Okay. Um, the last one um, about every parent or every robot reading every book ever written about parenting, special general parenting knowledge, because tech would have more just in general. It would just have more knowledge because that's always how it works. So I took these three mini phrases. Oops, I did not mean to move them up like that, but whatever. And I wrote a thesis statement. So I took the, um, oh gosh, the formula from the, the PowerPoint that I showed you, which was by examining blank, blank, and blank, it is clear that blank, right? So I'm listing my three supports, my three reasons, and then my opinion. I did that here. So I wrote, by examining how technology could monitor health, child safety, and general parenting knowledge, it is clear that technology could be better at parenting than humans in the future. Okay, which speaking of, I want to emphasize that with this thesis, we're talking about the future. Okay, I don't want you to say like, at this point in time, obviously, we don't have the technology for, for robots to completely parent kids, but just in the future, hypothetically, we're thinking ahead. Do you think it could ever get to that point? I want you to also notice how I kind of changed the tenses in this to make it all flow. So it's all in the same tense. So could monitor health and child safety. Okay, could be better at parenting than humans in the future. That's what I want you to do. This is one sentence. It looks like a long sentence, but it is one sentence because I use commas. Okay, um, because sentences can be long if you can punctuate them correctly. But for, like I said, I want you to focus on getting the ideas and having it flow. And we will um, go in with how, how to put commas and stuff in there probably next week. So um, that's what I want you to focus on. Those are your two assignments for thesis statements to work on. I hope that you get that. If you have questions, feel free to email me. All right. But if not, Godspeed. Figure it out. Let me know how it goes. All right. Bye.